guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a video that one of my lovely subscribers asked me to do because she watched my last video with the green grungy Mom, eye so the green grungy eye look I did with the melt cosmetics Gemini um, one and two palettes and she was like hey can you do like a rose look so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna play with these two palettes I might use more of this one because this one has more of like the dusty rose colors in them so I'm probably gonna use more of the colors down here at the beginning of the palette to do to do two different looks but I kind of want to dip in maybe to these at least with this shimmer in here so i'm not really sure how it's gonna go but if you want to see these rose inspired looks that i do then just keep watching okay so i have you guys all zoomed in oh my gosh my hair looks so wild <laughs> I don't know, it's just one of those days. I think what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to go in with this color Ladylike and I'm going to go in with my Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to use that as the transition shade for both looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and dust that across both eyes. I love Melt Formula. Typically, oh, all of their shadows for the most part, they just, they blend so nicely. They apply nicely. They're not patchy. I actually ordered the 10 year anniversary um, Dark Matter palette that they came out with because that was like one of their original stacks and now they made it into a palette with some new colors. So I'm waiting for that to arrive today. I'm so excited. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to do an all matte look on this eye. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to go in with this lighter color Bella and put that on the lid. And I'm going to go in with, thank you. My son just brought me, brought me a drink. Thanks buddy. Here, go make some more. Go make me some more. Thank you. And I'm going to use, I oh know I don't want to use that. I'm gonna use this ColourPop E3 brush. It's just one of those flat shadow brushes. I'm gonna put this on the inner. I don't think that's as light as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Like, I feel like it looks a lot lighter in the palette. I'm going to put that on the inner corner here. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and blend across here. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with this Sweetheart color here. And I'm gonna pick that up on this Luxie 246 brush. I'm gonna put this on the middle of the eye. So I'm just going to blend between this middle color and this inner corner color to get a nice blend. Just like I would with the shimmers, back and forth. Obviously, matte colors don't blend as nicely as like a matte with a shimmer, just because of that dimensional effect of that color. 
but do the best we can. So I'm gonna soften the edge and then I'm gonna take this Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna go into this color here. I don't know what that says. And I'm gonna go ahead and go on the outer corner and then blend this in. Now I'm gonna go back in with that first brush. Get a nice blend through the crease. I'm gonna go back in with that color and deepen it a bit. And take that same color and I'm gonna bring it down and now I'm gonna go back in with that sweetheart color on the middle and just get a nice blend between the outer corner and the middle And I am getting quite a bit of fallout down here, so I made a little bit of mess right here on my face. But again, like I've said in prior videos, you need to probably do your makeup last. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with that first color just to lighten it up a bit. So I think I'm going to leave that eye like that. I'm going to do eyeliner once I go off, but I'm going to hop over to this eye. I've already done my transition shade, so I think for this eye, I want to go in and see what this schmood color looks like. So I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe M124 brush, and I'm going to put that in the middle. Oh, that's pretty. And now I'm going to go in with another Morphe M507 brush. Go in with LX Queen. Go back in with that first brush and soften the edge. I'm gonna go back in with that schmood color. I'm gonna actually bring that in further. And then I'm gonna go in with this Luxie 111 brush. And I'm gonna pick up Lovesick. I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay crease brush and blend that out like that. And I honestly, I did everything out of this. I feel like because it's such a dark look, it seems kind of silly to go into this other palette and pull this for the inner corner. But 
you know what? I love my shimmers. I really do. So I'm gonna pull this Gemini color. I'm gonna pick up this Gemini, this Gemini color on this Luxie 141 mini brush. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. I'm gonna blend that up. Like that. So I think I'm gonna leave them like that. I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna do some liner. I'm gonna do something light to open it up and I'm gonna probably do liner above, put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. I just went ahead and used my Mad Max uh, liner for the upper and the wing. I did not put on lashes, just did some mascara. And then, and then I used my LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Liner in the waterline to open up the look a little bit. I love this liner. I recommend that you get them. Um, I featured them in a couple videos ago, but I got them on sale. It was like buy two, get one free, and they were like $4.99, but I really like them. They literally stay like where you put them. And then I just went ahead and used my Milani um, lip liner in All Natural. And then my, uh, this is Tarte, isn't it? Yeah, my Tarte lipstick in Skinny Dip, just for a nice nude lip. So that's a finished look. Let me go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so there it is. Just rosy tones, nothing crazy, a little smoky. I prefer this eye over this eye. I mean, it's, it's all right, I just, I really thought this color was gonna be a lot lighter, so what I had like envisioned in my head kind of got screwed up when I put it on, and I was like, oh, that's not as light as like what I was thinking, but it still turned out nice. I mean, it's hard to work, in my opinion, I have a harder time blending mattes with other matte colors rather than doing like a matte and a shimmer. Like this matte out here and this shimmer metallic -y color on the lid blended a lot nicer for me than it did over here. But all in all, like, you know, either, either I look could work if you're going for like a dusty, rosy, you know, look. And again, I ended up using a majority of the colors out of the Gemini 2 palette because there's so many. There's so many down here to choose from. It's just in that green grungy, you know, video I used both palettes. So I think it was just like, hey, you know, and then I went in here and used this because I just, I love my shimmers. It's my thing. I just, I don't know. I just, I love shimmers. <laughs> it just, there's not, that's all I can say about that. So anyway, Holly, thanks for requesting this. I hope you enjoy uh, the video. I hope you try these looks. Let me know in the comments below. If you have these palettes and you've done this type of look, let me know. If you're like, oh, that's whatever, let me know that too. Let's just chat about it. So, sorry, I had a phone call and it like threw my like whole like thought process off. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look. Holly, thank you for requesting it. I hope you could do something with these colors. Let me know what you end up doing. If you do anything at all, if you're like, eh, you know, it might not be, it's not for everybody. Um, but again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this.